Hey kids, do you know the story of Pouncil and Gretel? Well, we're here to show you, but we're gonna need your help along the way. Once upon a time, up in the mountains of Germany, there lived two twin children, Hansel and Gretel. Their mother passed away when they were small, and their father remarried to who they thought was a nice woman. This famine is tearing us to pieces. We have no food or money. How shall we support ourselves? I will sell twice as much firewood. I will sell twice as much in the town. I will do whatever it takes to help our family. That will not be enough. We must get rid of your children. My children? Yes, I know it's sad, but it's the only way for us to stay alive. Hansel, wake up, wake up. Why, Gretel? What's wrong? You would not believe what I just heard our stepmom say to father. She wants to kick us out. What? Father would never do that. He agreed to her request. Okay, but we have to do something about this. Well, they're planning to take us into the forest tomorrow for a day of fun and leave us there to starve. Hmm. All right. Before we leave the house tomorrow, we will take a loaf of bread on our way into the forest and break it into little pieces. Hansel and Gretel make their plan on how they will get back home before going to bed that night. The next morning, the kids put their plan to action. Hansel and Gretel left a trail of breadcrumbs in the forest and played all day with their parents. Until at one point, they couldn't find their parents. In a game of hide and seek, they were lost. No breadcrumbs were found, however, as the birds ate them all and it was getting dark. But what should we do now? I don't know. Okay, kids, this is where we're gonna need your help. Which way should we go? Right, forwards, or left? Okay, forwards it is. I think home is this way. Hey! Do you guys know what that is? It looks like a candy house. Oh my goodness, I'm so hungry. I could eat this whole thing. Are you lost? You kids seem hungry. Come inside. I have more cooking right now. Mmm. Is that fresh cake? Why, yes it is. There's plenty of food for all of us. Boy, you look tired. I can show you to your room. Okay. The witch lives her room where she locks them in a cage and hides away the key. This is when they realize the witch isn't who they thought she was. What should I feed him to make him big? Should it be cake? Ice cream? Cookies? What do you guys think? Let's feed him a big cake. The witch forces Hans to eat, to eat for days on end and treats Gretel as a slave for many days until one day she realizes what she has to do to escape and save her brother. Wow, Hansel, you look so big. Ooh, now is my time to prepare for dinner. Let me grab some firewood. Okay, kids, this is where I need your help again. What should I do so I can save my brother? Should I run away? Should I push the witch? Or should I yell for help? Okay, I'm going to push her, but I need your help on the count of three. Ready? While the witch is gathering her firewood, Gretel decides to push into the oven and steals the key to save her brother. We did it! But now all we have to do is find those keys. I wonder where they could be. Let's try this room. Shout out when you guys see the keys to help Gretel. Okay, I wonder where they could be. Where? This way? No. They're not there, but I'll keep looking. Hmm? This way? Are you guys trying to trick me? I really need to know where the keys are so I can save my brother. Below me? 
I got them. Thank you so much. I couldn't have done it without you. Okay, now let's go say pencil. I trapped the witch. Let's go before she gets us. Okay, let's go. I just want to get back home. They ran and they ran as fast as they could until they spotted their home. Their father had been quite lonely due to the passing of their mother since they left. When they got home, they saw him happily waiting for them outside. My children, my children, how I've missed you. We missed you too, Dad. You would not believe the adventure we've had. The family farm prospered and they lived happily ever after. The moral of the story is to not trust strangers. And that's how you stay safe. Thank you guys for helping the kids escape the evil witch. And thank you for watching. The end.